Hey everyone, it's Catherine from Server Pro, and today I'll be showing you a brief overview of the Waypoints plugin and how to download and install it on your server. This plugin helps you reach locations such as your base if you're struggling to find your way back to it. You can set a warp with a conventional plugin and simply teleport back, but if you want to keep the survival experience of not being able to teleport easily like that, this plugin is perfect. Instead of just bringing the player back to where they started, this plugin shows you the direction you have to go in to reach your destination. This helps you explore the world even more. To show the player the direction, you can configure multiple direction indicators to guide you. Some of the indicators include a beacon beam, a boss bar indicator, particles, and more. You can begin setting everything up by opening the GUI, by sneaking and right-clicking with a compass, or by typing the slash waypoints command. First, you're going to need to go to the plugin's website. You can find the link in the description below. Go to the versions section from the menu at the top. Make sure the plugin is compatible with the version your server is on. Go to the plugin version you want, then click the green download button to the left. This will instantly download the plugin. We recommend dragging the file to your desktop so it's easier to find. Head on over to the control panel of your VPS server. Then go to create service. Make sure the service selected is Minecraft Java Edition, then under type make sure to select paper, spigot, bucket, or sponge depending on the plugin version you downloaded earlier. Make sure the Minecraft version is compatible with the plugin. Then click install on the bottom to create your server. Next head over to your files section and open the plugins folder. Now you want to drag and drop the plugin file into this folder. Then you can restart your server and wait till it's online to see if the plugin has installed correctly. After doing so, head over to the console tab to make sure your plugin is installed. You can see it's installed and it says done near the bottom. Make sure there aren't any errors relating to the plugin. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see more from our channel. If you have any further questions or problems, don't hesitate to contact us. We will leave a link in the description. Thank you for watching.